spring and summer take over where winter left off. When the skiers, the skaters and the curlers have gone, a new holiday land prepares its welcome for visitors from all over the world. Scotland is a country for enjoyment, enjoyment of the open air. For those who come canoeing on the higher reaches of the River Spey, there are qualified instructors who know that not everyone is an expert and probably doesn't really want to be one. They've just come to enjoy themselves. Canoeing is a sport in which all ages can take part. This is the ideal relaxation. But maybe canoeing is too much effort. Well, Scotland provides for everything. The Spey is one of the most famous of Scotland's many rivers. You can paddle your own canoe in calm waters or you can have it rough and tough. Courses like this are organized by your training center of the Scottish Council of Physical Recreation. Before you do this sort of thing, you're given a capsizing drill in an indoor spa, and that's hardly a waste of time. But in high summer, a quick dip is all part of the enjoyment. And if you weren't canoeing, you'd probably be swimming, so what's the difference? Anyway, a bit of excitement adds spice to the sport. On the smooth waters of the Scottish lochs, this is Loch Morlick, white sails add to the natural beauty of the scene. And on the sandy beach, there is pleasure for all. Some hotels have their own craft, and Glenmore Lodge also runs courses for those who wish to take their hobby more seriously and who really mean to become experts. But it is not always calm. Sometimes the wind pipes up and you get a breeze to satisfy the most hardened sailor. Loch Mollich is in the heart of the Cairngorm Mountains. The majesty of this part of the world makes it an ideal center for camping and caravanning, and there are many well-equipped sites. Some hotels specialize in golfing holidays. In fact, Scotland has always been famous for golf. And the country is well provided with first-class courses like this one at Boat of Garden, which are available to all for moderate green fees. They range from the mighty St Andrews to the smaller highland courses, where if beautiful scenery improves your game, you'll cut your handicap in no time at all. Expert and learner alike find pleasure. For, as on all Scottish sporting holidays, lack of experience is no problem. Qualified instructors are always on hand. Not everybody who wants or can afford to shoot game. So why not a bit of practice with the clay pigeons? This is something all can try their hand at. Though it's strictly not for shooting, wildlife of all kinds is plentiful in the highlands, and the buzzard is only one of the many creatures which can be seen. The osprey has its only known British nesting place near Aviemore where the centre provides a comprehensive entertainment programme both inside and out. Part of it is the fishing school, with its own well-stocked private loch. Pitting of one's skill and wits against the fish is one of man's most popular relaxations. But the art of casting must first be learned. 
And what better place is there to learn this? Expert instructors are on hand to guide the first experimental casts. But even an expert can't make you one right away. There is so much to learn about fishing that it becomes an absorbing study, a skill to be mastered at all costs. Many hotels run fishing courses, and here on the River Spey at Granton, two famous exponents are instructing their pupils. To watch the expert fisherman cast is a thing to provoke envy in the beginner, as his line snakes out the exact spot where the unsuspecting fish may well be waiting. And when you yourself graduate, you can stand in solitude, fishing one of the most famous salmon rivers in the world. For those who find pleasure in the conquest of high places, Scotland offers some of the best climbing in the British Isles. Expert guidance is available, and courses are run from Glenmore Lodge. The first up is always the instructor. And when he has completed the stage, the rope is made secure, and as his charge comes up, he takes up the slack, so that the climb can be made in perfect safety. The worst thing that can happen to you when in the hands of an expert is a bit of a jar on the rope. Of course, you don't have to go up this way. There are plenty of hill walks in Scotland, ranging from the gentle, to the energetic. When all the climbers have reached the first stage, the ascent to the summit begins and the whole procedure is repeated. Scotland offers climbs of every kind, from nursery rocks to towering mountains, for amateur and expert alike. But always, there is that sense of achievement when the top is reached. Among Scotland's newer and most popular holiday attractions is pony trekking. One of its pioneers was a Newton Moore hotelier, horseman and musician who leads the ride day. Pony trekking is a sport for all ages and for all types, and is one of the best ways of enjoying the countryside and the good fresh air. Novice or expert, all can enjoy it. These Highland ponies are a breed apart. Quiet, responsive, and easily managed, even by the youngest rider. Many hotels have their own stables, and courses are organized so that newcomers can learn the essentials before setting out on a day's ride. But for those who want to go further afield, two day treks can be arranged. Scotland in summer, Scotland in winter, Scotland in the spring, and in the fall. Four different Scotlands, all providing enjoyment and real relaxation for the holidaymaker. Time now to rest for rider and pony alike. Time to enjoy a sandwich and a drink. make the Scottish day complete, an old Gaelic song drifting across the quiet waters of the loch. Tuesday night, late, late, 
mig Han er den der nok blive et dejligt spej Jo, hus, hvor skal man spire, hus kan det spire Jeg tror, at man måske kan, men man har sat dem i Og der kan man give mig hive mig, han akker du Maria Kommer ud til hunde mig, han akker du Maria Og der kan man give mig hive mig, han akker du Maria Og så er det lande måske kan, men han akker du Maria When is the night a little, a little hunk of my ear And here in the bed, do a head side to spy Oh, whose head can this be, and whose can it be? My son, my baby, my mother said to me Oh, no, him, I give me, you, me, and I got him, Maria Shemma, root the hand of me, and I got him, Maria Oh, no, him, I give me, you, me, and I got him, Maria Whiskers on a baby, and I got him, Maria